what it would do. We're doing an insurgency right now. And I'm gonna show y'all how to do these super, super, super quickly, super efficiently. And we're gonna have a good time while doing it because we have a good time here. That's always the goal. I'm gonna throw on my fast runny boy loadout. Um, I call it my fast runny boy loadout because it's fast and it makes me a very fast runny boy. I have like parkour equipment fully set up on each like literally every single uh, outfit option. I want to make sure that Danny is gone by. I am gonna want a bow and arrow. There's the copyright player. Uh. Alright, so we got rid of an anti-aircraft cannon. So we're off to a good start, even though I'm like missing all of them shots on this spinny boy. Okay, I already got it. All right, now we're clearing the checkpoint. Then we're going over here to the outpost. Then we're going to the next anti-aircraft gun. And then we're going to the next checkpoint. Then we're going to the next outpost. And then we got a mission to do for Lola because Lola's always scratching our back. So we gotta scratch Lola's back because that's just respectful. You feel me? We're going to use what's around us to go far faster. But yeah, basically, I want this to be a really, really, really straightforward how-to video on how to clear up everything that you're going to need to deal with for these insurgencies. So first thing I like to do here is always get rid of these alarms. How the fuck do I miss that shot? Okay. Cause, you know, we can't have motherfuckers pulling up on us. That's bad for business. What? I love when my red dot doesn't pull out. So we already got a checkpoint. We got the anti-aircraft gun. We're about to get an outpost. After that, we're gonna reset the process because <laughs> we need to get two anti-aircraft guns. We need to get two checkpoint or four anti-aircraft guns, two checkpoints, two outpost or four checkpoints, two outposts. God damn, why is that so hard to say? But so we're gonna do this kind of in sets of twos. Um, that's low key kind of far, and the air dropping. I just want to do this fast and effectively, because I got shit to do today. I'm sure you guys got shit to do today. I'm sure you don't want to sit through a whole ass tutorial about how to do certain things. If you're a casual gamer, and you're just looking to improve. If you're not a casual gamer, you may be in the wrong spot, because I'm a casual gamer and you're probably better than me. I don't know what to tell you. I really, I, I wish I had something better. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm, I'm what they would call butt cheeks at video games, but, but, I still beat them on the hardest difficulties. I've still gone through 100%ed every single Far Cry game on their hardest difficulties. Like, when it comes to making these things, like making harder challenges or just the weekly, weekly grinds easier, like I do like to think I know a thing or two about that. You know, like I'm no, I'm no genius. 
Let me get the fuck out of this airspace before I get shot out. Um, I'm no genius. I'm no savant. But I'll tell you what I do know, Far Cry. I, this is, I think that class two has kind of become my de facto like outpost loadout. This is because it has the Volta. Um, and I'll tell you what. <laughs> Ain't nobody fucking with you when you get the Volta going. Cause they can't call for backup. It makes everything so much easier. It really takes so much of the guesswork out of shit. Oh, damn. That's it, I gotta run. I gotta move. All right, y'all see that battery pack that I uncovered when I went to that recon laptop? We want that battery pack super fucking badly. Because that's going to disable everything for us. We won't even need to. We won't even need a trip. Huge. Alright, so I don't even need to worry about using the second class. That sounds bad. Don't perceive what I just said. So we're just gonna kind of work our way out. I do remember there being a person by the front. They may have moved. Most unfortunate. Spray a little bit, get their attention. Yo, go find a gun. Worries me when we're least hostages are running around without a gun out. It's not safe, my G. You're putting both of us in one hell of a spot here. Man, what? Where? I get the feeling that she's up there. I also get the feeling that this is our last person to kill. Let's get it. Let's get it. That's how we do. Resetting recording. Reset it. How we fucking do? Alrighty, now we pull up the map. I believe. Okay, we gotta let things load up a little bit first. Use the 
workbench. Let's re up on all of our goods and materials. Cool. I'm gonna put on my Speedy Boy set. We're gonna go take out that anti aircraft gun. I am Danny Rojas. But not how you may think. What the fuck happened to you, my guy? Alright. If I get shot out of the sky here, my mind would be fucking blown, because that means that this anti-aircraft gun is shooting through a fucking mountain. That would just be fairly remarkable. Getting pretty close. faster way there. There must be something faster. And there is. While in combat- Bro, I'm not fighting! Yeah, fuck up out of there. Let's see if I can fast travel now. Let's see if the game has deemed it fit for me to fast travel. Okay. Okay. There we go. Just gets me salty. So we're gonna airdrop directly into this checkpoint. We're gonna liberate the checkpoint. We're gonna go to the outpost. We're gonna liberate the outpost. We're gonna do all of that while looking fucking incredible. That's the plan. Jeez, I don't know if I should be flying in this weather. Looks like the weather's just getting worse. Oh, 
Thankfully, I won't be in the air for much longer. Those horses came up out of nowhere. He's super cool if everything loaded in. Okay, careful, Danny. I don't particularly trust that tank. Who else is here? What? I guess I just try to take this out. This is why we have to self revive. Oftentimes, we're not in control of the situations around us. So it's pretty vital to remain calm and just blow shit up wherever possible. Make sure that you got a few extra lives with you, such as through the self revive. I have no idea why this is taking so long. I'm gonna be real. Try to go about this a little bit smarterly. See if I can blow up the car to do damage to the tank. Apparently not. I don't even know why they gotta do me like this. This is just foul. I'm gonna do things quickly, man. Oh. Yeah, maybe that'll like throw him off or some shit. Who knows? More poison? Reset it? What the fuck is happening here? I cleared everything. Cleared all the people. I got the billboard. They got got. They got got. Bruh. 
What the fuck? Is it the helicopter? Come here. Fuck on over here. Mm, buddy, you're going down. What else do I need to do here? That's just annoying. I'm moving on. I'm moving on the checkpoints, the checkpoints. All I have to do is move on. Man, what? <laughs> I wasted so much ammo for nothing! <laughs> God damn. Alright, I'm looking for that recon laptop. I like knowing where the main room is. Okay, laptop's probably somewhere over there by that blue flag. I like knowing where like the laptop, I like knowing where the security room is. Mainly just because you can wipe out all their defenses that way. Just make it super easy on yourself. It's, it's fairly immediate. You don't gotta worry about someone tripping up the alarms. You don't gotta worry about missed shots on alarms. You don't gotta worry about disabling all of that. You know. <laughs> oh man, my game froze. What? Mm, that was not a great shot. You get the fuck out of there and embarrass me. Oh no. That was close. I see you, engineer. Where that? Where that? Where that? Oh yeah, we got it. All right, I got my supremo, so I'm not like too worried about my situation right now. I don't know why they would have firemen fucking everywhere inside of the gasoline factory. That makes no sense to me. But it don't matter. It don't matter. 
They literally don't. Because we've secured the location already. By the time they've realized that we're there, it's too late because we've disabled all the alarms. Or we're already on the way to disable them. You can't call for help if there's no way to call for help. So you cut that off, and then you go about your business of running and gunning. I swear, it'll take so many of your problems away. You, you, you just gotta make things easy on yourself. Alright, I could get the anti-aircraft there. Or... Get a running man on. That'll probably be faster to uh, airdrop from the Guria hideout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hideout. Okay. Cute. Absolutely massive. We are gonna have to drop down like immediately after we spawn just because that's an anti-aircraft gun. You notoriously can't fly up on those. But I think we're gonna be fine. I think it should just be this one, checkpoint aircraft checkpoint and then we do loveless mission i'm gonna do loveless mission on the easiest difficulty just because the game lets you get away with that it should always be exploited um just kind of show y'all how to clear this shit real quick let me reset the recording reset but yeah like these things can be made super 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 easy they should not take up too much of your time. You should be able to reap your reward, your rewards fairly quickly. If, if, if you enjoy taking the time, by all means, by all means. But for the time being right now, like I'm not playing Far Cry 6. I'm mainly focused on playing through Far Cry 3, um, doing all of that. And so it's kind of hard to commit like all that time to uh, just Far Cry 6, you know? And I figured I might as well like, show y'all how I get through these fairly quickly. Get my rewards and get the fuck out. I believe that the sharing of such information is quite important. Sometimes Ubisoft really be on their fucking games and they want to make things hard for no reason. Picked up the uranium from here. We can buy Juan guns. Grab that map. Okay. I think we can hit that, then the next two checkpoints that we saw near it. 
and then we're good. Like we solid on those. We just gotta do the Lola mission. We just gotta do another outpost and then we gotta buy everything from Lola. It's quite vital to buy all the new incoming supplies from Lola because I don't wanna be the asshole that doesn't have the new gear. I'm already like playing video games as easily for myself as possible. Like I make things very linear. I make things very straightforward for myself. I might as well have all the newest gear like while doing it. Make it fun to watch. I agree, getting rid of McKay was muy bueno. We needed to do that. McKay low-key got shafted. He was a solid villain. I feel like he was really similar to Hoyt in the sense that he wasn't intimidating as much as he was ever present because of his money, and that's a different kind of intimidation. Like, you feel me? Like, his presence in the game made Castillo seem a lot stronger. Okay. You got rid of that one? I don't have a shotgun. Okay, work. We're done with this kind of mission. Mode. Give me invincibility. Alrighty, now we go to the checkpoints. Gonna ignore that hostage because I'm a terrible person. I need to get a shotgun back onto my speed boy setup. The shotgun is arguably like the most important part of all of this. Um, oh, I'm sorry, horse. I don't have a good re like track record with horses in this game. They are like some of the more useful vehicles that you decide like put in here. You can just kind of run through checkpoints, do whatever you want. Like they're real quick, they're real easy to maneuver. I just, I'm so bad at driving in games. And when it extends to horses, things like that happen where my guy just falls off a fucking cliff, you know? And it's not the horse's fault. It's not, it's mine. I have to carry the weight of knowing that that horse fell off a cliff because of me. So I don't know, I just stay away from them because of the emotional weight Should that it carries. And sometimes you gotta play it like that. Sniping with my damn shotgun. 
Uh, wait, what else would I be doing? There we go. Yar. Now we go get another checkpoint. What I'm gonna do is reset my recording. Reset. Alrighty. This is the last checkpoint, then we gotta do our level mission. I think that there's definitely a little bit more to do in these insurgencies now. Um, the amount of objectives that you need to capture has gone up. So I think that if I'm doing this normally, you know, like it may take me about like an hour and a half if I'm trying to enjoy it, I'm trying to unlock everything, like along the way, so to speak. Um. I'm shooting for about in like 50 minutes to an hour. These really should not take too long at all. That's a little bit of a pain in the ass. It's okay though, it's really not too big of a deal, we're fine. There we go. It's all there really is to it. Oh, there is. Upon occasion, there's more to it where you gotta disable the alarm instead of just shooting the alarm. But we have contingencies for that. That's why we stack up on health. That's why we take care of ourselves. All right. Closest camp that we can go to. Yeah, fucking we ball. I got a lot to do in that region that's like unrelated to insurgencies. I did a lot of this save file, like just kind of going through the individual like gunpowder locations, like reservoir materials, like all of that. Um, but I really did not focus on unlocking like the entirety of the map and doing all the outposts just because I figure like over time with insurgencies I'm gonna get to them. Over time. Like there's no doubt. Mathematically speaking, they're not gonna release Far Cry 7 in time. I just don't see it. I simply do not see it happening for them. And so, where does that leave us? You and me, the player and the viewer. Leaves us in a place where we could just do these videos and eventually get to all those locations. Why work harder when you can work smarter? It's kind of what I want people to take away from this. Like, the amount of work that you do in these games is really, really, really up to you. No matter what difficulty you're on, no matter what you're doing, there, there's a way to half-ass it, but there's also a way to enjoy what you're doing. Ooh. 
What the fuck is that? Okay, we got quite a bit of stuff to cut. Oh yeah, Danny. Trejo's been Where do we have to go? Okay. Again, I'm just double checking the difficulty real quick. We're doing this on Easy Street. You feel me? Especially on this map, just because there are always so many, so many fucking rocket launchers that end up climbing on top of the backs of the dinosaurs while defending your location, waiting for Lola. I'm not having all of that. I'm just not, I won't do it. It's not me. But yeah. We are We're making good time. We're pretty close to done. to load in this game but it's a relatively fat game and it doesn't take up all of my hard drive like other relatively fat games like red dead redemption 2 which i'd love to play i'd love to get to it i'd love to finish out the game i got through disc one i just don't have the space for disc two <laughs> You know? So you sell goods out of your taxi. Smart. Yes. Wait, is that not a motherfucker? Welcome to Mesozoic Park. Alright, what class do we got equipped right now? Okay, we got a speedy boy class. We're gonna want Guapo. We fucks with Guapo. Lola, do you know where the visitor center is? Shit, it's been too long. Can't remember. Look for the old park maps. You should say. I'll keep the meter running for you. Que coño. <laughs> you charging me for this? Never. But I am charging one. Cheap Singao. Wait, okay. So, we know how to get there fast already. In fact, the hardest parts of this mission should be actually securing the ground that the PG-240X is at and then getting everything ready for Lola. Is that a fucking bird? Where is my amigo Guapo? Them birds ain't gonna get me when I'm moving this quick, you know what the fuck I'm saying? Just run straight through. There we go. Reset my recording. Reset. Let me pull up the Volta just in case. I don't. I, I have a feeling like it should be good. Oh yeah, I found the visitor center. Not sure where the cooler is at though. Shit, I might have moved it, but it can't be far. Ria Campos is the name of the lieutenant there. She probably has a key. I'll find her.
work. All right, so the alarm's dealt with. We can move back to a speedy boy. There we go. Alright, so, now that we have everything we need, we're just gonna get the fuck out of here. There is no reason to sit around and wait for more motherfuckers to bully us. You see this? He sees me. Lola, got the weapon. Heading back to you now. Shit, you are good, Gary. I don't want that. Everything's covered in blood. See you at the gate. All right, we're just gonna take off and just, you know, run. Really just book it. Fuck that shit. See, we're playing on easy, so this shit don't get hot. Like, it's gonna get hot, we're gonna cool it down. But we don't need to take every single opportunity to cool it down like in other difficulty settings. There are ways around doing it in other difficulty settings, but honestly, I like having a little bit of extra comfort. I like taking the time to clear out different like water locations just so I can feel a little bit better while transporting this shit. But like, it's really important to establish a game plan for where you can cool off the weapon as much as it is when you go and pick it up and when you need to be picked up by Lola. I'm gonna need to get the fuck out of here real quick. Bro, what? I had to use the stairs. I had to use the stairs. Like some kind of chump. No matter, we're there. We've made it to our uh, primary location. This is where we're gonna have a lot of work Hola, to do. I'm at the front. Where the hell are you? Had to dodge some patrols. You're going to have company soon. I'll deal with them. Just get here and don't crash the car. Danny, so professional. Have some fucking respect. Four wheeler. Oh damn, I need to switch classes, I think. Yo, okay. I'm gonna switch to my class one just because this is what I feel more comfortable fighting with on the whole. You feel me? Like, again, a lot of my preferences are based on personal, comf or personal comfort. So while, while like, I think I can give people a solid guide on how to get these done relatively quickly, how to like, you know, kind of do things effectively, make it simple for yourself, at that same time, 
This game is amazing because it was built to be played based on personal preference. You feel me? Like, there is so much you can do if you want to play stealthier, if you want to play slower. Literally, like, more power to you. Like, I don't mean that in a salty way, I mean it in a, please, 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 please. Find new ways to prove me wrong. Tell me why I'm wrong, like, like help me find new ways to uh, do this shit, you feel me? Like, this game is literally goaded. For the primary reason that you could do whatever. The classes, the outfit options, the general rotations, how you handle this game is up to you. To me, that's super cool. But even more so past that, it gives you it gives you the option to be comfortable, no matter what the game setting is. And that's just huge. That's just huge. And that level of like personal ad like adaptation, being a part of things, is just so much fun. I, I, I don't know that many other games like it. I know that Far Cry 6 is caught like a whole lot of flat. Just for being the way that it is. But, I don't know. I think that if you're gonna do a live service game, you probably should do it like this. Otherwise, you're doing a disservice to yourself and your fan base. Let's finish this out on... Takedown. Okay. It's looking like this is gonna take just over an hour of like actual reporting time. I may cut so, out, you know, like certain. Yeah, this no. military grade chemical weapon. No, I'm not gonna cut anything out. Well, but you can make it overall, up if you're actually speed. playing, this this really should be about like 40 minutes to an hour. These should not take too long at all. You should be able to do these within your area of comfort as a gamer. And they really should not take too long. So I'm gonna reset my recording. Reset. Oh, um, so really, 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 the benefits are all to the gamer here. Like, literally everything is in your hands, how you want it to be, how you want to deal with things, how you want to go about doing things. If you want to go in with a bow or a silenced pistol, if you want to blow everything up. That's why I fuck with the game. Like, no matter what, this should, like, back, back to the main point. No matter what, this should take you about, like, 40 minutes to an hour. Between... Between all the different ways to do things, between all the different mechanisms of fast travel, like... These don't have to be a slug fest. This can be fun. Live service games don't have to be a whole pain in the ass for people. And I think that's something that a lot of people may miss. Can't blame them. Live service games can be a huge pain in the ass. But at the same time, I think that they introduce a new dimension to gaming. I think that I think that while a lot of it can be cash grab, I think a lot of it can add new content and material for the player. I think it extends playability. And I don't know, I feel like the way that they did it in Far Cry 6, just once a week, like an hour once a week, come on, super manageable. Just like as a fan of the series, like that's very manageable for me. I like it. Again, again, if other people don't like it, I get it. I've heard it. I respect it. I like it. You feel me? <laughs> These loading screens, though. Okay. Starting to hear some bongo music, so you're we loaded it in. Finally. Okay. Let's see if we can buy anything else from Lolo right now.
Damn. We're strapped for cash. All right, we're gonna go straight at this checkpoint. I really want this completed as quickly as possible. If we could get this done, like including loading screens in like an hour, huge, huge, just massive. I usually spend about an hour to an hour and a half every like gaming every time I sit down to do it. So it's not so much that I want this to just be over with as much as I want to find like the quickest and most effective ways. And so far this run is looking fairly promising. It, like we, we had to do so much more this week than other weeks in the sense that this was two different regions. They had all the challenges uh, set up to correspond to that level of difficulty. So I'm quite content. I do usually start out with the Lola mission, but I figured with like the added missions that we had to do, just, you know, four, <laughs> this insurgency, I, I wanted to do that last. I wanted to close out on that. Oh, damn. Okay. Hmm, this is already not going in our favor. I've made terrible mistakes already. Okay, watch yourself, Danny. You left your top peeking. Gonna have to take that off of you. Shouldn't have too many enemies left. She's down. How are there still more enemies? Am I gonna get this in under an hour? I am! My recording says 59.50 like right now. Those are all the objectives that we had to hit. I'm pretty content. I'm content with that run. We literally finished just under an hour. Let's go, let's go pick up everything that's owed to us from Lola because Damn. Oh. Um, we're not viewing these things as purchasable goods. These things are owed to us. Because we did a very good job. Alright, let's see if we can fast travel to this location. Make life easy. I 
I really hope I don't have to reset the recording again. We got about two and a half minutes to have this place load up and find Lola and make our purchases. If we gotta reset, we gotta reset. It is what it is, but still. strong feeling I'm gonna need to reset the recording. That's fine. All good. But still. Still can't afford that. It's not deep. I don't need the scale mail. Alright, on that note, I'll see y'all later. I'll probably unlock that during the next uh next week's insurgency. Peace out, much love.